And we so deserve to live without judgment. We do. We do. Yes. That's the yes. biggest thing in all of it. Do we? I mean, sure, we shouldn't be publicly ridiculed for things that don't hurt anyone. But to claim that we shouldn't be judged? That's just not possible. Everyone makes judgments of others, whether we want to or not. We wouldn't have survived as a species if we didn't make judgments. The problem resides in how we treat people. If we negatively judge someone for something that doesn't hurt anyone, and we treat them like crap over it, then yeah, that's obviously a problem. But if we treat people decently, regardless of how we feel about their choices or just their demographic in general, then I don't see what the problem is. Sure, one could actively try to turn it into a learning opportunity, but it's unrealistic and unreasonable to expect that out of everyone. And some people get offended at innocent questions. Now, as I said, perhaps people like this are really just trying to say that people should be able to live their lives, and as long as they're not hurting anyone, they shouldn't be treated like crap over it, right? You know, people shouldn't be publicly ridiculed for things that don't hurt anyone. You know, into that kind of notion, I would agree. Obviously, there are some exceptions. But if someone looks downright absurd, or they say or do something that's incredibly stupid, but it doesn't hurt anyone, then I don't really see a problem with someone trying to tactfully address it. One can ask questions without being rude or mean about it. And honestly, if someone is doing or saying something that they know is questionable by society, then they need to develop a thick enough of a skin to at least be able to withstand a tiny bit of criticism. Being able to withstand criticism used to be what being a nonconformist was all about, or part of what it's all about. We shouldn't promote fragility. If you're a fragile nonconformist, you're not much of a nonconformist in my eyes. Now, if someone is doing something that truly does hurt other people, then obviously I don't have a problem with treating that person like crap. But if Tamron Hall really meant what she said, the way that she said it, the notion that we deserve to live without judgment, then that is kind of concerning. How far down the virtue signaling rabbit hole will the future take us? How disconnected from reality will we eventually have to pretend to become in order to be socially acceptable? The world may never know.